Elizabeth O'Neill Verner, author, artist, and preservationist, perhaps more than anyone, can be credited with creating the images we now associate most with her beloved city, Charleston, South Carolina. Her approach to her artwork was that of showing the public, and particularly visitors to Charleston, what was special and unique about this area. And as a result, the the visitors and audiences responded. It was Elizabeth Verner who gave us the endearing images of Charleston's flower ladies. In addition to its people, Verner's subjects included the city's architecture. Verner did a number of etchings of various important architectural sites in Charleston, including St. Michael's, St. Philip's, the rooftops or the skyline of Charleston. And what's fascinating today is that we can look at these images and see how these streetscapes have changed. Werner, her mentor Alice Ravenel Hugie Smith, along with Anna Hayward Taylor and Alfred Huddy, were major figures of the Charleston Renaissance, which was forged by a group of artists dedicated to reviving an interest in art in the Charleston area. Widowed in 1925, Werner launched her career as a professional artist. She soon proved to be an astute businesswoman. A strong advocate of preservation, Werner was a founding member of the Preservation Society of Charleston, and she was instrumental in securing funding for the historic Charleston Foundation. She was also the author of four books, including Prints and Impressions of Charleston and Mellowed by Time. 